Hello everyone and welcome to episode 136 of this Let's Play series of Star Trek Online. My name is Winters and you are very welcome. So we're moving on to the next story mission in the Iconium War story arc. We are coming very close to the end of this story arc, but the next mission is Broken Circle. So let's get our mission brief. Please report to the Kiana system. Our partnership with the Krinum is starting to bear fruit, but the project may take more time to complete than we have left. We must consider any plan that ensures our survival. Okay, so we have to travel to the Keanu system. I've already done that. Um, let's see. Anything interesting? I suppose, yeah, this mission has some interesting mission reward items. This Delta Alliance reinforcements beacon is a ability um, that can be used in space. Uh, we can see the tooltip here says signals for a strike team of three Delta Alliance escorts to assist you in combat for 35 seconds cannot be used while piloting a small craft. So for example a shuttle. Um, so yeah I suppose that's uh, pretty interesting. Uh, we also have this um, universal kit module jab, jam subspace transmissions. Uh, so yeah I guess they're pretty um, pretty interesting. Anyway, we'll accept the mission and we will jump in and begin Broken Circle. You are cleared for docking. Right, so we have Greetings. to talk to this dude, and then we are going into uh, the development area, which is right here. And here, we have the development area. <laughs> How much do you know about the Krenum, Seven of Nine? The Borg have extensive records on the Krenum. They were a species of great interest to the Collective. I'm not sure I like the idea of the Borg studying us like a bug in a petri dish. I'm not sure I like the idea of the Borg studying anyone. And what about the Iconians? The Collective spent a great deal of resources pursuing Iconian technology. They believed the species to be extinct. They were incorrect. So much for the Borg knowing everything. The Iconian's technology is far beyond even the capabilities of the Borg. Fine. But what about shielding the ship that's using the weapon? We haven't solved the paradox problem yet. This is not my first experience with alternate timelines. It would be possible to develop a form of temporal shielding to protect this vessel from alterations in the timeline. Right. So, as you can see, we have uh, Nog, voiced by Aaron Eisen. Eisenberg and uh, Seven of Nine, voiced by Jerry Ryan, there in this mission. Welcome to our. In some way, but think of Captain Cogran. Okay, so now we have to talk to Captain Cogran. There he is. Greetings. I have heard much about your victories against the Iconians. It is an honor to work with a warrior like yourself. We are almost ready. What am I doing? We skip past all this stuff. <laughs> we don't listen to the things. We just f bomb our way through. Greetings. And I don't. Uh, right. Come on. Begin briefing. The war is not going as well as we might wish. Our fleet are protecting key worlds, but dozens of other targets have fallen to herald attacks. Civilian casualties are rising. We need to act. This facility is building a device to turn the tide in our favor. Captain Nog, what is the status of the weapon? We've had some setbacks, Captain. We're still weeks from a working prototype. No amount of temporal manipulation will change that. And, have you chosen a target for the temporal incursion? We're still running simulations. 
We've configured the holodex to help us evaluate the possible changes that occur after removing an element from the time stream. Some of these scenarios show promise, but none are exactly what you want. Very well. We cannot afford to wait another day. We are losing this war. We need to strike now. A direct engagement is our only option. We will put all our resources into a full attack on the Iconians. Every ship we can muster will be a part of one massive strike against the Herald Spear. Captain Paris is already moving into position with the Vanguard. Ships here will report to the Herald Spear as soon as possible. There will be more warriors in Stovokor tonight. But first, we will make the Iconians bleed. So now, what about that? Rendezvous with the task force. It's a lot of ships. That's a lot, a lot of ships. You are the last ship to arrive. We are ready to set course for the Alpha Wing. You are cleared for departure. <laughs> Am I glad to? Ah, there's Tom Paris again. Okay, so we have to clear a path to the flagship, clear Sector Alpha, this Beta, is and Gamma. From the USS Keller. We are losing warp 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 and are in need of immediate assistance. Target shields have failed. Lovely. Engines and weapons are down! Requesting immediate assistance! Let's get a little bit closer. To any available ships, this is Commander Novoron of the RRW APIG. Require immediate assistance. Warning. Ship is under attack. We're coming. Ah, oh, crap, there's one of those solar beams on my tail. Solar gateway, that's what I'm trying to say. And uh, they can do significant damage against you. Right, I'm not going to buff up killing this guy, he's nearly dead already. Target shields have failed. Okay, so that's Alpha and Beta done. Get in range a little bit closer here, and we will clear out Gamma. Warning, ship is under attack. Ah, crud. Target shields have failed. That's quite a battle that is going on out there. A lot of ships. Okay, anyway. Uh, we have to rescue Federation ship, a Romulan ship, and a Klingon ship. This guy is almost out of time, so I'm going to go for him first. Or next, I should say. And these aren't mandatory objectives, these are just secondary objectives, uh, or you should say optional. We're... we're falling back. 
I cannot do that, Captain. A Klingon does not run from battle. Farewell, Captain. Today is a good day to die. All right, people, we've got one shot at this. Okay, so we're gonna go through this gateway, and if memory serves correctly, we'll we're gonna take end care up. Of the reinforcements. Follow that dreadnought. We're gonna end up inside this sphere. We are clear to enter the gateway. So we are inside <clears throat> that sphere now. Let's target someone. Drop out of grab well. Oh, you punk. Target shields have failed. Signaling the carriers to move into position now. Wait for carriers to move Herald into position. Herald reinforcements inbound. We need to deal with them. Just point the way. that guy taken care of. Now we move on to the next group. So things weren't looking good there for a second, but uh, I think uh, we've managed to rectify the situation. Our hull is coming back, thankfully. Warning. Ship is under attack. Hull integrity below 75%. Target shield has failed. Oh, yeah. Our ship has dealt 1,000... 1 million, sorry, anti-proton damage. That's, uh, that's a nice little accolade to get there. Boarding parties landed. Ah, right, okay, so this is where we're going. Warning, ship is under attack. Target 
Boom. Boarding parties are on. Right. Now we get into the ground portion of this mission. Great. Ignore. Help Lieutenant Talek defeat Hurls, no problem. Away, teams. Okay, uh, so it looks like we're going this way. Disable power junction, locate power junction. Away teams reporting in, sir. Heavy resistance and heavy casualties. Alright, we're taking a left here, so... Detecting life signs and weapon discharges dead ahead. So far. I am detecting Federation and Herald weapons fire beyond this door. There is also a power junction. Nice. We took care of them pretty easy. Okay. Uh, so we have to interact with this. So we've located the power junction, and now we have to disable it. Dum dum dum. Do you care so much for your lives? Thank you. It's on now. Love that lightning strike. Matara is retreating. She might be trying to recharge her energy. Whoa, what are you... Interesting. Harold, reinforcement! We need to disable the other junction, sir. Just pick up our loot first. And now we'll disable this one. There is another power junction ahead. Moving on. Ah, oh, there you are. The demon is weakening. Keep disabling the power junctions. It's working. She's using her own energy to power the gateways. <laughs> More reinforcements. 
Reinforcement, sir. Oh, I got a defiler this time. Oh. He was actually quite easy to get rid of. The area is secure, and the other interface is just over there. I am detecting a third junction ahead. I want to point out, see here we're getting gold press latinum for each kill. Uh, that's because of the uh, duty officer that we have on our active space, oh, sorry, not space, but our active ground roster, uh, the uh, Ferengi. So every time we take out an enemy, we're getting gold press latinum for it. Another junction just ahead, sir. If we can keep forcing the creature to use her own power, we can weaken her enough to defeat her. I am detecting strong energy signatures ahead. I believe it to be some kind of command center. <laughs> Come on, let me interact. Whoa! Scans confirm her energy readings are decreasing. This could work. Officers down and everything. Let's call in some reinforcements. We must disable the other interface Excellent. before we continue. Okay, time to revive these guys. And just confirm we are going the right way. Yep, we are indeed. The area ahead contains four interface junctions. Just had to uh, turn and tab out for that. Reinforcements on their way. Okay, we should be able to shut down another generator now. Or junction.
reinforcements. Watch your back. Nice. Oh, I thought there was more there for a second. Okay, let's shut down another junction. Two defilers. Any loose? No. Okay, let's uh, close down the or shut down the fourth and final junction. Yeah, it wouldn't have been a good idea to stick around there much longer. You made it back. Count yourself among a fortunate few. What's the situation on the flagship? I hate to say it. Scan derelict vessel for survivors. Okay. A lot of derelict vessels around here. The These warriors for. died well, nope. and they will not be forgotten. This one might be gone. out of the system. us to uh, the conference room. Yep. Okay, so we talk to Kugran first. Despite the in or Kugran, the Nog. I don't. And finally, Paris. I want to personally. That's it. End of mission.
Okay, so let's report in and get our mission brief. Or not mission brief, but our reward. Our losses were great today. And we will mourn for every hero who died defending their galaxy. I am a warrior. I believe in honorable combat, direct tactics, and looking my enemy in the eye. Although you did manage to destroy Matara and break the unity of the Iconians, I now see that we cannot use traditional combat to defeat them. Captain Nog and his team will continue their work on the weapon. It may be our only option. Okay, so we have to pick uh, an item here. I'm going to pick the Delta Reinforcements. Could be handy in a pinch, you know. Um, yeah. So, we will leave it there for this episode. Our next episode is going to be Butterfly. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like. That will help me out enormously. Um, if uh, you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And, as always, please subscribe to the channel, my channel, if you haven't done so already. My name is Winters, and I will see you next time. So, until then, take care.